Welcome everybody to a quick tutorial on the MACD, the MACD Moving Average Convergence Divergence. And today we'll talk briefly about how traders can use this trend-based indicator for entry and exits. So I'll go through a few things. I'll use some bullet points to really delve deeper into what some of this means and I'll come back to the chart. So we've got price bars up above, uh, up top on the chart. Also that purple line over the price bars represents a 50 day or a 50 period moving average if you're using something other than a daily chart. Down below you can see the MACD indicator. It's an oscillator. It uses uh, a couple exponential moving average lines that I'll get into in a second, but primarily we have the MACD line, that yellow line. We also have a signal line, that's the purple line there. And traders look for crosses of these two lines when the MACD moves above or below. Uh, that can indicate maybe the trend is starting to lose steam or to build uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of power there. And then, of course, the main premise or the main point of this presentation is that traders are going to look for a cross of the MACD line above and through the zero line, or below and through the zero line. So you could use this for bullish or bearish. And right here we see the illustration of that signal line. I'm sorry, the MACD line, uh, moving above the zero line. Now the scale down below, there's really no limit to the scale, and so that's how sometimes you see that, that zero line isn't exactly center, but that's really the center point. That's the dividing line between bullish and bearish. And certainly the slope of the moving average and the slope of the MACD are important, but that zero line is going to be uh, the indicator area. And so one of the things that we'll look at here is it's a trend-based indicator uh, comprised of a MACD line and a signal line. The MACD line is the difference between a 12 and a 26 period exponential moving average. The signal line is a 9 period average of the MACD line. Now traders may look for crosses by the MACD line above or below the signal line, uh, but many traders are going to simply focus on that zero line as a potential entry and exit. Now this tends to perform better during trending periods versus non-trending periods and it, it is a trend-based indicator so you would you would expect that and during non-trending periods you may need to bring things in like support or resistance uh, and really look for breakouts of the range before you can really start to use this but again we have the price bars up above uh, we have the price bars we've got that 50-day moving average uh, down below, you've got the MACD line, the signal line. You've also got that center line. Uh, there's the crosses first. The center line, which is the zero line. And then what you're looking for is the MACD line crossing, in this case, above that zero line. That's a bullish signal. And then up, up top, you'll notice that price, and really a lot of traders like to validate this by using price also uh, being above or crossing through that 50-day moving average. Those two... So the MACD line crossing above zero and price crossing above that 50-day moving average may indicate a nice entry point. And of course, then uh, many traders use that moving average line to put their stops or their exits a little bit below there, uh, really giving the whatever it is you're trading the ability to run. So just a quick tutorial on the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence. And do me a favor, please like this video and check out some of the other videos and leave positive comments. Thank you.